gold medal at stake. There he is, the most okay, dominant man. man in wakeboarding. Yeah, definitely has the most wins in the past couple years than any other rider. I think he's probably only lost three or four contests, you know, in the past like few years. So, I mean, his win to lose ratio is extremely high. Harley familiar with this wake, riding behind an X-Star at home. So the same for Shota, so there's no advantage there. They're both super familiar with the way the wake forms. This lake is super deep, packed in with wake, so makes for a great final. We saw Shota do that same trick, nose grab, curl bubble 540. Yeah. A lot of times Harley will do the same tricks that you do in your run just to play with you sometimes, you man. Yeah, it's crazy. There's the heel mob 540, a spin and a half with a back roll, one of the most tech mobs that you can do. Toe side 900, not even flinching for a grab on that one, and the judges are going to dock him a little bit, and here it comes. This could possibly be the double tantrum. Does he need it, or is he going to go front mob 5 like he did? He did he front did. mob 5 yep. like he did in the first round. Harley's really knowledgeable in contesting. I think he knew that that run would beat Shota, so he probably went for that and is going for the double next time. Well, that's what's so scary about Harley Clifford Parks. He's won 8 of 11 events in 2015. Crazy. You take the natural talent that he has combined with the mental preparation and strategy he brings to the table, it makes for an unbeatable recipe. Really does. He's so consistent, so technical. He can literally do every trick out there. Sometimes he does it a little sloppy. He doesn't always grab his tricks, but his amplitude is always high, and he's doing the hardest tricks bar none. And there's the Mobe 5, one of the most hardest tricks to do. There's another front Mobe 540. So doing five, two different 540-degree uh, spins mixed with a flip, that's a super technical run, and I think he knew that that would be uh, Shota, and that's why he, I, I'm just interested to see how the second run's gonna go for these guys. Again, each rider getting two attempts here in this finals matchup, unlike just the one they got in the quarters and semis, so they can afford to put a score on the board and take it from there, each getting two passes. Harley Clifford's score coming in at an 86.33, so that actually puts him into the top spot.